Carbonara is a staple in the Roman cuisine and a worldwide famous dish. In today's video I will teach you how to make a proper creamy carbonara like Romans do. No cream, no oil needed, just the original ingredient. It's just so creamy, flavorful and delicious at the same time. But you need to properly execute the recipe otherwise you will get some scrambled egg spaghetti. This dish is a bit more complicated than the other Roman pasta recipes I've covered in my other videos. Check them out if you missed them. I will put a link in the description. Delicious. Let's start from the ingredients you're gonna need. One challenge. Yes, again, you will need a lot of it. Grated pecorino. Egg yolk. Pasta. In this case, spaghetti are just perfect, but even short pasta will do just fine. Cut the guanciale in chunks and put it in a pan without oil. This is important. No oil is used to make carbonara. It will change the taste and the composition of the sauce. You have to let the guanciale sweat off all the fat. This alone will give plenty of flavor to the sauce. You don't want to mix it with other fat sauce. Of course you can do whatever you want, but I suggest you to try it out yourself and see the difference in taste. While the guanciale browns, we will add the pasta to the boiling water and prepare the other ingredients for the sauce. I put about 2 egg yolk in a bowl and mix them together with some freshly grounded pe black pepper and grated pecorino. I don't really measure how much pecorino I use, I just add a little bit step by step until I reach the desired consistency. But if you want some ideas, 30 grams for 100 grams of pasta will be enough. Don't be shy on the pecorino in this dish. Whisk the mixture until you get a nice yellow thick cream. It should look something like this. This will be basically the sauce of the pasta. When the guanciale is golden brown, I remove it and set aside. Then transfer the pasta in the pan when it's more or less halfway cooked. We will finish the cooking process in the pan just like a risotto. Make sure all the pasta is submerged by the water. The starch releasing the pasta water will work as a thickening agent and will deliver us a nice creamy and thick sauce. If you managed to watch till this point, you are a real supporter of my channel, I really appreciate it. So I will remember you to subscribe to my channel if you like this type of content. This will help me and motivate me to do more stuff like this. Now comes the crucial part. When the pasta is cooked, remove the pan from the heat. Wait 20-30 seconds so that the pasta will cool down a bit. Otherwise, if you put the egg mixture in it too early, the eggs will cook and solidify. You don't want this. You want the egg to be in the middle of being cooked and being raw. I know it sounds tricky, and it actually is, but that's why you're looking at this video, so you will learn. Now put the mixture in the pan and shake it, so that the cream will emulsify with the sauce. Adjust the consistency by adding some cooking water if you need to. If you made a mistake and add too much cooking water, it's not bad. You can just add some more pecorino to adjust the consistency. Now, look at this creep. Doesn't look delicious. If you like this video, please click the thumbs up and consider subscribe for more content like this. And if you have any questions, don't hesitate to write them down in the comments.